as IBM has been making headlines with their stock price being down more than 4%, more and more are starting to cast a doubt on their strategy and uh, on their ability to deliver on the cognitive systems. And as I've been studying this trend for quite a few years now, I thought it'd be interesting to give you some insight as to what cognitive analytics really are, as well as how one can benefit from them. So um, at first, uh, generally speaking, cognitive analytics are the ability to feed an algorithm with complex data sets onto which we can employ uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning to create some sort of competitive advantage. Now, I know this definition it does not quite fit within, within an HR context, so um, if, we, if we look at it from a simpler point of view, we can take uh, the classic personality profiles and is, as an example. And we all know the main challenge with these, uh, with these uh, assessments uh, is the time invested uh, to fill in such, an, uh, such a survey, as well as the number of brain cycles required for them. Now, if you take the same personality profile in the context of uh, cognitive analytics, the idea is to employ algorithms, powerful algorithms, on complex data sets such as uh, texts from social, for our social media profiles or even our resumes, or even more recently video interviews. And uh, these algorithms are supposed to, to determine our personality profiles given uh, these data sets are um, provide enough information for them to be confident that uh, our personality profiles will be accurate enough. But probably it's going to be easier if I give an example here. So uh, since I've been earlier mentioning IBM to be, a, to be a pioneer in the field, they also provide a free tool to, that allows us to assess our cognitive profile using um, either some text that we enter or uh, I would say it's a lot easier if we use our, uh, our Twitter profiles like I did in my case. So um, here is how it looks. Here is my cognitive profile as seen by, um, by IBM software. And you can notice that it's quite an interesting uh, report in the sense that it's very detailed. It contains a lot of insight. Now, on the not so good side, uh, there are many details in there that uh, I would be very careful about their accuracy. Like, for example, in my, in my profile, they say I post more often than not on Wednesday mornings, when in fact I employ a software to do my tweets, or at least I did at that time. So, um, Overall, I believe it's a very interesting topic, uh, cognitive analytics in general, especially in the context of HR analytics and in the context of digital HR in general. However, I believe that the key to understand here is that um, the HR department was not designed to be analytic in the first place. In fact, a survey by Deloitte um, says that 80% of HR professionals score themselves as low in their ability to analyze. So I guess this is one of the main reasons why analytics will be an interesting topic uh, for many years to come. So what do you think? Is IBM too much into fantasy land with cognitive analytics? Maybe let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, please consider subscribing if you would like to see more of these videos. Thank you for watching.